Love of Kill, episode 9. So, we pick up where we left off. Ayun, pinakilala ni... Uh, pinakilala nila Gino at Mika si... Donnie kay Riyangha. He got straight to the questioning eh, si Donnie. Tanong niya kay Riyangha. Oh, uh, I'm gonna translate it in Filipino, right? Bakit mo ginagamit yung pangalan ni Riyang Hasong? Yung pangalan na dati kong binigay sa siya sa mga alaga ko. Well, that explains it. As his inter interrogation of Riyangha goes on, uh, inassume na lang niya na, na ganito ang ginawa ni Riyang, Riyangha para magamit niya ang pangalan yun. Uh, falsify documents para makapasok siya sa sa sento kay noon and uh, to really assume the identity of the real Riyama song which in one backstory sequence in this same episode pinakita na the real Riyama and supposedly the Riyama song now ay nag-uusap habang tulog si Shato sa likod sa backseat ng escape vehicle nila noon so while this was going on Despite her um, her hate for Riyangha, Shato decides to rescue him and I quote, on her, on my own terms. Wari ka pa. Mahal mo rin tao. Pinagbili na niya kay Jim kung anong uh, ano gagawin niya dapat. Um, sever all her connections and um, oust her from from the Richland company. Well, later on in in an explainer sequence sinabi ni, jo, ni, ni Jim, I cannot do that. That is very tedious paperwork. <laughs> Gumawa na lang si si Shato. Eh sabi na lang ni Jim, come back and I hate you. <laughs> Hindi pala nila tinuluyan dito yung nakasagupan nila in the last episode. Shato was able to extract enough information kung nasaan, uh, kung saan uh, dinala si Riyang ha. And, well, the rescue mission is on. She uses uh, a garbage truck to storm the gates. Pasok siya. Then, while this was going on, Riyang ha was, um, well, Riyang ha started a, uh, a shoot party of his own. All of a sudden, we see Riyang ha Shooting the heads of all of all uh, of all Donny's detail. Lahat na yung mga nakabantay do sa CCTV room. <laughs> Wala sa binuway dito. Then ayun nakita niya. Um, Shato is in Shato is in the complex trying to rescue him. Final scene. Nakita ang dalawa. Then uh, oh. sarcastically sinabi ni Riyang ha. Uh, you, uh, proverbially, you should be doing this. Sinabi na ni Shato, you're one to talk. <laughs> We're gonna break this down now, pretty sub style. Pace! From the get-go, it was a really tense pace. In that, talagang hawak si Riyang ha ng kalaban eh, si Donny. And Donny was really trying to, um, to, talagang, Talagang verbally, pinipiga niya si Riyang ha, kung saan niya nakuha ang pangalang ito. The very name he gave one of his um, children. Ibang klase yung kalaban itong si Donnie. Uh, are we up for a big boss battle based on the pacing? Absolutely. But do I have complaints? Hell no! <laughs> I enjoyed the, the, uh, the, the fast pacing of this episode. Talagang... Bata yung umate ka po eh! Ano mang pag-alam mo pacing? Di ba? Ano mang pag-alam mo pacing? And through this pacing, you now see how Riyang Ha actually operated when he when he basically drove the Santo Kai into extinction. <laughs> Flow naman! Um, first gear shift here was um, nung nakawala na siya and well, nag- Muna sila nagsagupaan ni Nika, but Nika had the upper hand by um by uh, by reopening his wound here. Na 
na nilagi na nilagi sa kanya ni Hao nun. It's a no-brainer of a gear shift, folks. This gear shift triggered the episode. It's a death match in the making. Second gear shift was when um Shato and Jim were able to get off the ship with their hostage na yung ala isang alaga ni Donnie and oh escape yeah escape in a garbage truck na obviously sinuhulan nila <laughs> but, but hey but why did they call us a gear ship kasi although na um Shato Shato made the right call here tignan ninyo kung anong pinaghuhugutan niya. Garbage truck to storm the gates? That's a hell of an idea. Okay. Final gear shift. Was, um, no. Oh. Nung tinuluyan ni Riyanga yung dalawang yung dalawang pantay doon sa CCTV room. Why did I call this particular this particular execution sequence of gear shift. It's almost a no-brainer, mga lifestyle. Through this gear shift, you now see um, how cold and calculating Riyamha is. So these three gear shifts that I saw, definitely, we're now on the road to the finale and we're coming into the final three episodes. All of them will play a role. Plot lies. Um, maganda yung timing ng ng mga backstory sequences eh. Etong, ane, there was one explainer sequence and one backstory sequence. The backstory sequence involved Riyang Ha. The explainer sequence involved Shato. Maganda yung pasok nila pareho. And it was and it was really short. Kumpara pa lang pa nila. Um pang pang pang, pang explain lang sa sa audience kung paano uh, umabot sa ganito yung yung episode. It was well timed. And it was yeah, it was well placed. So Lanchado ang plot ng aka lifestyle. Well ironed out plot. And it only involves two, uh, two minor sequences. So, pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. So, Love of Kill, episode 9. Easy pa. Mm. Two thumbs up. Probably the anime's best episode and it's most violent. <laughs> so far, ah, so far. Kasi hindi pa natin hindi hindi pa natin natin trend on yung final three episodes which will become which will be airing which will start airing next week as of this recording, of course. So mangyayari niyan, teka. Si Riyama, si Shato lang ang sasagu pa sa mga to. And well, um, the way I see it, baka masyak si Shato dito. Kasi, uh, she may be a bounty hunter, pero not all bounty hunters are, are into this kind of violence. They're, not all of them are accustomed to this kind of, this kind of bloodshed, this kind of carnage. Pero si Riyama, Sanay na sanay because well, kung tutusin niyo, he has done this before. Oh, with the Santo Kai. Kaya nga na, kaya nga naglako na parang pula ang Santo Kai. Eh. So, siya lang mismo ang tumumba. In one night, tinumba niya ang apat na, yung apat na head niya. Yung apat na head ng organization na yun. So, <laughs> he, he's, He's done it before. He can do it again. This time, dito sa organization ni Donny, yung uh, Barose, yung Barosela. <laughs> he can do the same to Donny. Bakasya pang ihuli ni Riyama as a uh, 
trophy, pwede. And, um, if you know so, if you know so deep dive it this way, talagang may intent si Riyama na to keep his identity theft a secret. Kasi, if you would, if you would look at that uh, backstory sequence again, matagal na sila magkakilala ng totoong Riyama. At kasakasama pala siya nun, nung, nung tumakas sila sa, sa child trafficking organization na yun. And I bet, that same child trafficking organization is the one being run by Donnie right now. So, at nagtaka rin si Donnie dito kung bakit yung scholastic records ni Riyanga parehang-pareho dun sa Riyanga na pinalaki niya. Parehong-pareho. And even the documentation. So, I don't know ha, eh, this is just my conspiracy theory. Riyanga song is uh, doing his very best to to keep his identity theft a secret. Probably for Shanto's sake, 50-50. Pero malalaman siguro natin yan in the final three episodes. Kaya, tutok na kayo mga ka-lifestyle. So again, Love of Kill, episode 9. Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for Love of Kill, mga ka-lifestyle. Oh, Pakaya ko ba ating kamo na? Wow! So Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this particular anime. Ano kasi nyo, tutukan yun eh. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, Ano ba magagawa ko? Eh di panoorin lang kayo na mag-chill-chill dyan. So, enjoy this review and I'll see you in the next one.